guys for stopping by my channel. So today I thought I would do another top five video. I haven't done one of these for quite a while. Um, I'll link the previous ones that I've done below. But today I thought I'd share with you guys my top five spring blushes for 2014. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is from MAC. These are in no particular order. This is one of their Sheer Tone Shimmer Blushes, and the color is called Spring Sheen, which is quite appropriate for this video. You guys, this is so beautiful. I've been wearing this a lot lately. Um, it's described as a Sheer Tone Peachy Pink with Golden Shimmer. I think that's the perfect description. It definitely has a golden shimmery undertone, but it's nothing, you know, sparkly or glittery. It's very, very, very subtle and very, very flattering. I think this would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I really like the formula of MAC Sheer Tone Blushes. They just blend so nicely. They just almost become like part of your skin. I think they are so stunning. So this is definitely one of my top five. All right, so I wanted to do kind of a mix of high-end and drugstore. And you guys have been watching my channel lately. You've probably heard me talk about this one already. This is one of the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blushes. And it is in the color Coral. It is so pretty, you guys. What's really unique about this is that there are actually four different shades in here. Um, you've got three sort of corally tones and then one sort of champagne-y color. And mine have all been blended together at this point because I just take my blush brush, my blush brush, and swirl everything together. Guys, this gives you the most stunning coral flush of color on your cheeks. It is so, so beautiful. I love how they've incorporated this champagne-y color, which gives you just like sort of a brightening, highlighting effect to the, the coral tones that are also in here. This is so stunning. If you're going to pick up a drugstore blush um, for spring and summer, I would definitely recommend this one because it is fabulous. Okay, so next is a newer blush. This is from Hourglass, and it's one of their ambient lighting blushes. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you probably know I love the ambient lighting powders. I have hit pan on this one mega, and the formula of the blushes, I am happy to say, is right on par with the formula of the lighting powders. So, love, love, love this line. And this is in the color Dim Infusion. It's, again, another coral. It's described as a subdued coral, and it has a bit of a sheen. It's gorgeous, you guys. It is so pretty. This is definitely one of those colors that I think looks more flattering on your skin than when you just swatch it. When you swatch it, it's much lighter. I mean, it's still a light color on your cheek, but it definitely shows up. When I first applied it, I was like, hmm, this is a little more subdued, I guess, than I, than I expected, even though it's described as a subdued coral. Throughout the day when I got a glimpse of my cheeks, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. It's just a nice, you know, subtle coral that definitely screams spring, and it just gives your, your cheeks a really healthy glow. So I absolutely love this, and I love the formula. I would definitely consider picking up another one of these. So I would love to know if you guys have any, what your favorites are. If you would leave me a comment below, that would be super helpful. Okay, the next one I have is another drugstore pick, and it's actually the one I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It is a little bit bright and bold, but I really like it. So this is one of the new Milani baked blushes, and this is in the color Bella Rosa. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so stunning. I just picked this up. I just, it's so beautiful in the pan, and I thought, like, how is this going to look on my skin? But I, I wanted to try it out, and I mean... As you can tell, it is super, super pigmented. A little will do you a long, long ways. So I've just been taking a blush brush. This is a Sigma F10 powder blush brush. Um, dipping it in, and you can probably see, you get a lot of product with just a little, little tap. So um, I make sure to do this one, get rid of the excess before I apply it to my cheeks. And if you still find that it's, it's too bright, just take a large powder brush and blend it out, a kabuki brush, something like that. And that's all I did today. But I really like it. It is bright, like I said, but it's it just screams spring to me. And when you want to play around with your makeup and play it up a little, I think this is such a great color. I should have also mentioned this is a matte blush, which is nice because sometimes I like my more vibrant colors to be matte because then you're not, you know, getting carried away with the glitter and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, you're just focusing on kind of the color. And if you're interested, it is described as a vibrant reddish pink. And I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely more pink than red, but there is a bit of a reddish undertone there. All right, so every time spring rolls around, I always bust out this guy. This is just a tried, tested, and true blush for me. It is by Tarte, and it's in the shade Doll Face. As you can see, I have hit pan on this. I have used this for so long, and I love it. It is gorgeous. It's another matte color, um, and it's just a very true kind of light pink. It definitely has some bluish undertones, um, but it's really, really pretty, guys. It gives you just a very, like, cheerful, healthy kind of glow to your cheeks, and it screams spring because it is pink. So I love this one, and the formula of these is so, so amazing. These are definitely some of the longest wearing blushes that I own. I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. They are amazing, so I would definitely recommend this. 
Okay guys, so those are my top five, but you know me, I couldn't stop right at five. I do have one sort of honorable mention. The only reason I didn't want to incorporate it in my top five is because it's limited edition. But it is available right now, so I thought it would be a good time to kind of shout it out anyway. So this is actually a mineralized skin finish from MAC, and it is called Stereo Rose. It's kind of a cult favorite, I think. Like, I hear so many people talk about this when it comes out. They re-release it from time to time, and I just picked it up recently when they released the... That's my cat sneezing. Bless you. The A Fantasy of Flowers collection. Um, but it's still available. I checked last night. It is so stunning, you guys. At first when I got it, I was like, okay, I feel like this is maybe dupable. I feel like I have other things like this. But then I applied it to my cheeks and I was like, this is stunning. It is so, so pretty. This is described as a copper bronze peach and the undertones are definitely warm. So, so pretty, you guys, though. It is just, ugh. So stunning, I absolutely love it. Also, these mineralized skin finishes are huge. There is nine grams in here, as opposed to like, this is 5.6 grams, so you're getting a ton of product. All right guys, so that rounds out my top five, six blushes for spring 2014. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys have been loving for blushes this spring. I know it's not even spring, but I am just pretending it is. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Take care of each other, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.